Well, the cheerleading squad has been captivating crowds at local football games with a special kind of spirit and creating a movement in the process. WMRC News' Maria Rallis has the heartwarming story. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Practicing to take the football field on a fall weekend. It's a familiar routine for 18-year-old Mariah Redman. She's been cheering since she was four. When Mariah turned 14, though, she aged out of the youth squads. She started going to high school and they really had nothing for children with disabilities. So her mom, a longtime cheerleading coach, started Dreamcatchers. They're part of the Middle River Recreation Council's youth football team, the Renegades. And for a few months out of the year, these kids get to get out on the field too. They have a chance to just be like everybody else. That's the main thing, be like everybody else. That's important to parents like Angela White. Her daughter, Cordelia, is 11. Feeling included is something that's super important to us. Cheer is like her life. She loves it. She cheers when it's from the time she wakes up till the time she goes to bed. When the Dreamcatchers started three years ago, they were the only squad of its kind. Now there are other teams in the area, in Perry Hall and Bel Air. They take part in friendly competitions. <laughs> The Dreamcatchers have won first place in their last three events. You hear the entire gymnasium go crazy for the Dreamcatchers. It gives you chills, and then when they get done at the end and they blow their kiss. Little kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. Woo! Good job. All right, good job. Good job. Thanks, Mommy. In Middle River, Maria Morales, WMAR2 News. Oh, such a cool story there. There's no age limit for the Dream Catchers. The youngest member of the squad is four years old. You can catch the Dream Catchers this weekend at Middle River Middle School. They'll be cheering on the Renegades football team Friday at a pep rally and then Saturday at their homecoming games.